Representative Baker, LR 2353, resolved to create the task force on the prevention of sexual abuse of children. Welcome. Thank you, President Wang. Uh, President Ray, Speaker, <coughs> and distinguished members of the Legislative Council. According to the Maine Coalition Against Sexual Abuse, one of every seven victims of sexual assault is under the age of six. According to pupil counts by the Department of Education, 44,573 kids are in K-2, and one seventh, 6,368 of that number have likely experienced some kind of sexual abuse. These numbers most certainly constitute an emergency. It cannot be denied that in a day and age where new high-profile stories of abuse are coming to light most almost daily, this is a serious problem facing Maine and America. In the wake of the Penn State recent scandal, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Corbett said, we must keep in mind when it comes to the safety of children. There can be no margin of error, no hesitation to act. One argument for inaction that many in our society make is the belief that sexual abuse is best handled by the family and does not need to be a public issue. But what do you do when sexual abuses occur within the family? Almost 50% of juvenile victims reported that their abusers were family members. The second argument for inaction is that the economy budget will not support another task force. Can we in good conscience allow more children to live unprotected and tortured because we are unwilling to make the necessary sacrifice? I feel so strongly about this issue that I propose that the members of the task force serve without compensation and shall not be reimbursed for their expenses. In closing, I would like to join Erin Marin in her statement, don't ignore this epidemic, protect and empower children. Because we are positive you know someone that has been sexually abused even they haven't told you yet. Thank you. Nine one in.